I'm Dr. Anthony Smith, and I am a breast surgeon at Paragon Surgical and Breast Care. I hold an ultrasound certification through the American Society of Breast Surgeons, and I've been performing breast surgery here at Paragon since 2006. There is a great need in America to treat women for the problems with the breast. Um, approximately one in eight women over a lifetime will deal with breast cancer. And because of this need and a personal relationship in that both my mother and my grandmother were afflicted by breast cancer, made it an opportunity that I thought would be very beneficial to help a large number of people. A patient may ask, what are my risk factors for developing breast cancer? Well, one in eight women in the United States will develop breast cancer. We know that genetics can play a part in your breast cancer, and if women are younger or have a significant family history of breast cancer, this may need to be something to be evaluated further. Age 40 is when most women will need their first mammogram. If you have a family history of breast cancer, age 35 is recommended to get your first mammogram. This is important because we need to establish a baseline for your breast health and going forward, have images to compare to as we take additional yearly mammograms. The best way to avoid breast cancer is to live a healthy lifestyle. We recommend 30 minutes of exercise at least five times a week we recommend you try and maintain your body mass index less than 25. We recommend that you limit your alcohol intake, and of course, at all times, try and avoid tobacco. We recommend that a woman examine her breasts monthly. Things to be concerned about or to bring to the attention of a healthcare provider is, is there a new lump? Is there a change in the way that the skin looks? Is it more thick? Does it look red? Is there a change in the nipple? Is it starting to turn inward or invert? Is the breast more painful than it has been previously? Or is there a lump in the armpit area? These are all things to check every month, and if something changes, contact your healthcare provider. Here at Paragon, we will guide you through your process and your experience with your breast cancer. From the very first appointment after your diagnosis, Till five years later and further down after you're cancer free, we'll make all of your appointments, we'll schedule all of your surgeries, and we'll be here each step of the way to help you with your diagnosis. The most important thing for our women is to get a screening mammogram. Hopefully, all of the mammogram results will be negative and nothing further will be need to be done till the next year. If something is discovered, typically a biopsy is the next process biopsy results will dictate where we follow in the terms of the next steps going forward. If cancer is identified, then we'll deal with this appropriately with the proper referrals, imaging, and surgical procedures. Surgery for your breast cancer can either be in the form of a lumpectomy, which we also call a partial mastectomy, or a full mastectomy where the whole breast is removed. Partial mastectomies can be done here at the hospital or at our off-site surgery center. Mastectomy usually means our patients will stay overnight, so we perform those here at the hospital. Here at Paragon Breast Care, we want each individual patient to have the best experience possible. From personal experience, when my mother and my grandmother were treated for their breast cancer, individual attention made the world to them. We want each person to have that same experience here at Paragon.